Good morning everyone and welcome to morning prayer today. Thank you for joining us. We begin with the opening words from the Church of England's daily prayer service, which is available on the daily prayer app, including a time of silence for us to bring ourselves before God this morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. I've been speaking in morning prayer about prayer recently. As we've said this week, the archbishops have called our nation, all Christians and people of goodwill, to another month of prayer during this month of February, as we lift up before God, really intentionally, the many people who are in such great need in our country and our world at the moment due to the pandemic. So if you are new to prayer, or find yourself deepening your prayer at this time, we've been going through some pointers from the Bible. So far we've seen how Jesus tells us to pray simply, not using many words and not doing it to be seen by others. And that's why he gave us the Lord's Prayer as a simple template for us. Then we saw yesterday how the prophet Anna was given great insight by God to recognise Jesus in the story of the presentation of Jesus in the temple. Today I'm going to read for us from Paul's letter to the Philippians and chapter 4, including perhaps one of the most famous verses on prayer in the New Testament. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. God's word to us today from Paul's letter to the Philippians. So many things in those few verses. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. 
we've got to know and be aware of that, haven't we? Particularly as we engage in social media where there seems to be so little gentleness and indeed anything you can say can be taken out of context as well. So that's an important one. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about prayer. This verse teaches us to whatever is going on for us in our lives, that we should pray about it. And when we do, we will experience God's peace. Now, this may not always be easy to find God's peace in the midst of the troubles which we experience. But Paul says here that prayer is the way. And St. Paul is not speaking out of experience here. He is a man who has been in prison many times for his faith. He is a man who's had to travel long distances in dangerous circumstances by road and by sea. And he's had to go into new cities preaching the word of God where he has faced opposition. And he's faced opposition even from within the church as well as those from outside. So he is a man who's had many worries in his life. He's probably had so many worries that he's just got used to that way of life now. And he's trained himself to bring everything before God in prayer and to receive the peace that passes all understanding. So it's really important for us to remember whatever we're going through, God is there with us. And he wants us to experience his peace in prayer. We don't just have a God for the good times. We don't just have a God for the hallelujahs and the praise the Lord's. We also have a God for a where are you Lord? For a please help me Lord. For a please be with me Lord. In the Archbishop's prayer diary for yesterday, which they release each day for our national prayer, which they've called us to at six o'clock. They called us to pray for the elderly, the isolated and the vulnerable. So let's bring ourselves and those people before God today in prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, I thank you for each person who's joining us here today in prayer. Lord God, I pray for all of us that you would give us the strength each day to bring our prayers and supplications before you. Lord God, whatever we're going through, may we pray to you and receive your peace in our hearts. Lord God, we lift up before you all who are struggling today. Lord God, all who are in need of your peace and your loving touch. We pray, Lord, that they will be able to find your peace in their hearts today. Lord God, help us to encourage everyone we know who is struggling to turn to prayer and receive your peace for them. Lord God, we particularly pray for any who are isolated in our communities at this time, as we all spend time, more time at home, and are unable to socialise. Lord God, give everybody those relationships which they need to continue on their way. Lord God, if you want us to ring someone up today, I pray that you will lay that on our hearts so that we can contact them and we can bring their, we can share joy and peace with them today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Thank you all for joining us here this morning. I commend to you all the Archbishop's call to prayer. They've asked us to pray at six o'clock um, together as a nation. Of course, any prayer at any time is really valuable. But to give that sense of us all doing it together, they've asked us to pause for prayer at 6 p.m. Do access their website or Facebook page to see the resources that are on there to help us pray. Maybe light a candle in your window or join with some others to pray at six o'clock at this time as we lift our nation and our world before God in prayer. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.